Hi guys, let's continue on tutorial part 2, chapter 1, Metal. Let's talk about elements. Elements is a substance that cannot be separated into a simpler substances by any chemical means. In a periodic table, elements are arranged in order of increasing proton number. There are 115 elements have been identified in the periodic tables. 83 elements occur naturally on Earth, for example, gold, aluminium, lead, oxygen, and carbon. And there are 32 elements have been created by scientists, example, technetium, americium, and cerbogium. Let's look into a group. A vertical column of elements in periodic table is called a group. There are 18 groups in the periodic tables. The elements of particular group share similar chemical properties because they have the same number of valence electrons. The groups in the periodic tables are numbered from 1 to 18. Elements in the same group have the same number of valence electrons. Let's look at period. A horizontal row of element in the periodic tables is known as a period. The periods in the periodic tables are numbered from 1 to 7. The elements are arranged according to the increasing proton numbers in the periodic tables. Period number equal to number of shells so as principal content numbers and symbol as n. The electrons are arranged in the shell as follows. The first shells will occupy a maximum of two electrons, whereas for the second shells, it's the maximum electron is as eight electrons and the third shell should be eight electrons. Now let's talk about group. A vertical column of elements in periodic tables. Group 1, known as 1A. Group 2, as 2A. Group 17, as 7A. Group 18, as 8A. Group 1A are metals. The 1A family is made up of the metals. In reaction, these elements are all tends to to lose a single electron. These some important elements such as sodium and potassium play an important role in the chemistry of the body and are commonly found in salts. Group 2 or as known as 2A is alkaline earth metals. The 2A family is made up of the alkaline metal alkaline earth metals. All these elements tend to lose two electrons. Calcium is an important member of the 2A families. You need calcium for healthy teeth and bones. Group 17 or 7A is halogens. The 7A form families is made up of the halogens. They are all to gain a single electron in reactions. Important members in the family include chlorine, used in making socks and bleach, and iodine. Group 18, or so as 8A, a noble gas. The 8A family is made up of the noble gases. These elements are very unreactive. For a long time, the noble gases were called the inert gases because people thought that this element wouldn't react at all. Now let's talk about periodic tables. Group 1, 1A as alkaline metals. Group 2, 2A as alkaline earth metals. Group 17, 7A as halogen. Group 18, 8A as inert or noble gases. 
So let us see a beautiful diagram of periodic tables. Everyone knows about periodic tables. Okay, for a group that is a vertical columns, they have 1 until 18 groups. And for period that is horizontal rows, is called a period. We have 1 until 7 period. So all those coloring it shows a different, the same color shows the type of the elements are arrangements in the periodic tables. So elements are arranged increasing periodic proton numbers in the periodic tables. We have alkaline metals, alkaline earth metals, transition metals, other metals, other non-metals, halogen, noble gases, rare earth elements, and lanthanide, and the last one is actina elements. Now let us see about atoms and molecules and a compound. Atoms and molecules in periodic tables in a limited to group 1, 2, and 13 to 18. Atoms exist as the smallest unit quantity of an element. Atoms fundamentally compose of three subparticles known as electron, proton, and neutron. Molecules is defined as the smallest unit of a compound that contains the chemical properties of the compounds. Molecules are formed when two or more atoms bond together. If molecule contains atoms of different elements bond together, then that substance is called a compound. For example, water that consists of two atoms of hydrogen and one mole of oxygen. Hydrogen fluoride, that HF, consists of one mole of hydrogen and one mole of fluorine. There are seven elements that exist as diatomic molecules. These are hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and the last one is iodine. These elements are not stable as a single atom. Let us see the way to difference between an atom, molecules, and compound is shown in the diagram below. Atoms versus molecules. For atom, it is single, example as a helium. Molecules that, example as hydrogen molecules, and a compound, so as the example as a water molecules. Now let's look further about the elements in the same group. Number of valence electrons, group and a charge. Okay, element in the same group, so as hydrogen, lithium and sodium, the number of valence electrons is 1. So the group is 1 and the charge is positive 1. Beryllium, magnesium and calcium, number of valence electrons is 2, that in a group of two and the charge should be positive two. For barium, aluminium and gallium, so the number of valence electrons should be three, the group is group 13 and the charge should be positive three and so forth. For group number four, number five, number six, number seven and number eight. So the group should be 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 respectively. And the charge should be for group 14 is positive 4. For group 15, negative 3. Group 16, negative 2. 17, negative 1. And group 18, no charge at all. Now let's do practice 1.3 together. So we complete the following tables. Okay, and let's look at the elements. For first row is aluminium. So upper left should be 27 is the nuclear numbers and the 13 on the down left is proton numbers. So 
for the neutral atoms, the proton number is the same as electron number. So, let us see how many valence electrons in that elements of aluminium. So, we arrange the proton number so as electron number as in a shell. So, it should be 2, 8 and 3. Okay. The 3 should be the valence electron and the group should be group 13. For the shell, we all occupy with three shells that mean 2, 8, 3 that mean is period of 3. So if the valence electron 3 that means the charge should be positive 3. Okay, now let's look at for element argon. Okay, on upper left the number 40 should be the nuclear numbers and the down left should be 18 is the proton numbers. So the valence electron, if we arrange the proton numbers, so as the electron numbers for the neutral atoms, it should be 2, 8, and 8. So it's in a group of 18. So the period should be 3 because it fulfills all the three shells with 2, 8, 8. So the charge should be 0. So the next one, the third one is the oxygen. So the nuclear number is the upper left, 16. And the proton number is down left, number 8. The valence electron should be, if we arrange the proton number as 2, 6. That means it is, the first shell is 2, and the second shell is 6. So the group should be 16 and the period should be 2 because it's fulfilled the 2 shell. So the charge should be negative 2. And I will let you do for calcium, chlorine, sodium and magnesium. Okay, guys, until the next lesson. Bye.